Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your Champions League roundup. Manchester City 3, Bayern Munich 0. Great game of football. Very dominant, very emphatic score by Manchester City. One thing I've noticed is this new system that Guardiola is implementing which is John Stones playing as a defensive midfielder with Roderick, Rodri, I mean Rodri, with Rodri, and three, basically three centre-backs centre with no full-backs and two wing-backs. What I'm thinking is, Man City is playing against Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich have two fast wingers and they are tricky as well. They have a lot of lot of skills. So I'm thinking surely Man City needs full backs. How are they gonna cope with Leroy Sane on one side and um, Coleman on the other side? Surely they would need full backs. But this system is working perfectly for Man City. The first goal was a fantastic goal. Was it, what a what a what a nice goal by Rodri in the first half. The first half, Man Man City has a, had a slight, slight dominance. But it was quite evenly because um, Bayern Munich also had a lot of the ball. But they didn't manage to create any chances, any clear cut chances in the first half. And so the first half ended one nil for Man City. And at the beginning of the second half, Bayern Munich was the better team. They had a few shots here and there, and they seemed to be more uh, more involved. The Man Bayern Munich was in control of the game at the beginning of the second half. However, what a, what a big mistake by Up Makanu. A mistake by Up Makanu that gifted, gift, gifted Man City the second goal. And then that's when the game start to shift. At this level, you cannot afford to make these silly mistakes. So in transition, Ab Makan was too casual on the ball, he lost the ball, and Man City managed to score the second goal. And then all of a sudden, the game just shifted on the second half. Man City took full control of the game, and they, they, they scored the third goal as well. So, Man, I mean, Bayern Munich didn't show much in this first tie of this. I mean, of this, they didn't show much. And free new, I'm thinking, is there a way back from Bayern Munich? I don't think so. I don't think they're coming back. I think this tie is over. There is no way a team like Man City is going to drop a free new lead, even though Bayern Munich will play at home. I think this tie is over. But what Man City done with this performance, with this result? Listen to this stack. Inter Milan couldn't score against Bayern Munich. Barcelona couldn't score against Bayern Munich. But Man City just put three goals past Bayern Munich. How well Man City is playing is unbelievable. They sent a big message. They sent a big message to all Europe and to all Premier, Premier League. Because I don't see at the moment any team in the Champions League that will be able to stop this Man City. Now, the question for Arsenal supporters is, are you afraid? Because Arsenal in the Premier League has to play away at the Etihad. So, Man City seems likely to win the three trophies they are still involved this season. The Champions League, the Premier League and the FA Cup. So Man United fans as well, are you scared that Man City will win the treble this season? 
please comment in the section down below let me know what do you think is there way is there a way of stopping this manchester city team i don't think so they are looking formidable at the moment they are looking unstoppable with this new system that guardiola implemented anyway on the other game um inter milan beat benfica two new away so the next game next week next week or the week after i think it's next week will be in in milan i don't think there is a way for benfica either i think man city and inter milan are going through unless some sort of miracle unless some something extraordinary happens i don't see man city dropping a three new lead or inter milan dropping a two new lead against benfica i think those two teams are going through and i don't think there's any team at the moment who seem likely to stop this man city team please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and like you will help me a lot in this channel and i'll see you on my next video thanks for watching bye